नमस्ते भाई स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट माइनस थ्री कॉमा फाइव एंड पार्पेंडिकुलर टू द लाइन थ्रू द पॉइंट टू कॉमा फाइव एंड माइनस थ्री कॉमा सिक्स द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन ए बी पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट टू कॉमा फाइव एंड माइनस थ्री कॉमा सिक्स इज एम वन इक्वल्स टू y2 टू माइनस वाई वन बाई एक्स टू माइनस सिक्स वन सो सिक्स माइनस फाइव बाई माइनस थ्री माइनस टू दैट मीन्स वन बाई माइनस फाइव नाउ द स्लोप ऑफ द पार्पेंडिकुलर लाइन टू ए बी दैट मीन्स द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन सी डी इज एम टू इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन बाई एम वन दैट मीन्स फाइव so the equation of the required line cd passing through the point minus 3 comma 5 and having slope 5 is y minus y1 that means 5 equals to m that means 5 into x minus x1 that means minus 3 so y minus 5 equals to 5 into x plus 3 that means y minus 5 equals to 5 into x that means 5x plus 5 into 3 that means 15 so y minus 5x equals to 20 now next question is 12 find the equation of the line that cuts of equal intercept on the coordinate axis and passing through the point 2 comma 3 so here the equation of the line making intercept a and b on the x and y axis respectively is x by a plus y by b equals to 1 so by the problem we can write b equals to a so now x by a plus y by b is replaced by a equals to 1 so x plus y equals to a this is equation number 1 now the line 1 passes through the point 2 comma 3 so here x is replaced by 2 and y is replaced by 3 so 2 plus 3 equals to a so a equals to 5 so from 1 we can write x plus y equals to 5 this is the required line now question number 13 find Equation of the line passing through the point two comma two and cutting of intercept on the axis whose sum is nine. So here the equation of the line making intercept a and b on x and y axis respectively is x by a plus y by b equals to one. This is equation number one. Now the line one passing through the point two comma two. Is here x is replaced by two and y is replaced by two, so two by a plus two by b equals to one. This is equation number two. Now, by the problem, we can write a plus b equals to nine. This is equation number three. We can write b equals to nine minus a. So from equation two, we can write one by a plus one by b equals to one by two. So one by a plus one by b is replaced by nine minus a. So nine minus a equals to half. So by LCM we can write nine minus a plus a by a into nine minus a equals to half. So minus a plus a will be cancelled. We can write a into nine minus a equals to eighteen. So nine a minus a square equals to eighteen. So a square minus nine a plus eighteen equals to zero. Now by middle term factor we can write a square minus. Six plus three into a plus eighteen equals to zero. So a square minus six a minus three a plus eighteen equals to zero. So a into a minus six minus three into a minus six equals to zero. So a will be six or a a is three. So when a is six, b is three. When a is three, b will be six. So when a equals to six and b is three, we can write x by Six plus y by three equals to one. When x equals a equals to three and b equals to six, so from one we can write x by three plus 
y by 6 equals to 1. No more